Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Arcadian. And this is a new horror film from director Benjamin Brewer. And this film focuses on the story of Nicolas Cage's Paul and his two teenage twin sons, played by Jaden Martell and Maxwell Jenkins, as they are living in their farmhouse by day living in this tranquility and by night in horror as giant disturbing monsters come to just destroy everyone. And in this post-apocalyptic world, they're out in the wilderness, and basically this film is... You've seen things like this, it's What Comes at Night, except not like the film What Comes at Night, that's a little bit different. Of course, it's A24, but this film... You also have Sadie Sorvarel, who plays Charlotte, this young girl who lives nearby, that Thomas Maxwell Jenkins' character builds this connection with. So you have these four core characters. You have other characters, like Charlotte's family. But it's these four core characters that get us through this horrible time. And Brewer sets extremely perfect kind of mood. It's this somber... It's this beauty of nature kind of thing where, yeah, real danger can come. And it's really interesting. There's this foreboding feel to everything. And there's a bit of action and thrills because they're trying to fight off these giant monsters. And the design of these monsters is really creative. And they're freaking creepy. And... What they do to hunt and everything is just so grotesque and weird. It's one of the most unique creatures I've seen pop up in a film. I feel like the film does a fine enough job of setting up the dynamic between these two sons and their father. There's not a ton. It's like they've went through the trauma. Their mother and wife are not in the picture anymore after all these horrible things, and it's the connection that they have, and you know, you have this basic young love story between Thomas and Charlotte that's bu uh, budding. It's the performances, though. Nick Cage is a fantastic actor, and here he's much more reserved and intense, and if you're here for the Cage, just how naturally the story goes. The story becomes much more about the twin brothers. So, like, he gets sidelined for a decent chunk of this film, but he's still there as an important fixture in the film. But Martell and Jenkins really anchor this film well, and Sorvarel also adds a lot to it. It's the cast that brings a lot of the emotion and the connection. The characters are a bit underwritten. The plot is very basic. And it really uses a interesting but simple idea to set up a situation. And I feel like the heightening of tension works a lot better throughout the first two thirds because there's a sense of mystery. By the third act, they're really showing these creatures. And yeah, these creatures are really, really creepy. And there's some frightening imagery that begins to happen. But it's still like, wow, this is a big blow off third act kind of thing. It's still an intense and engaging thriller. It has its elements that really work, and it really tries to make it by on some very basic elements as well that could have been dug deeper, fleshed out a bit. But they keep it simple. This 90-minute film has a lot to offer from a, a, from a horror thriller kind of perspective. And, you know, if you're really into that genre, maybe it's worth your time. But those are my thoughts on Arcadian. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.